Hi, I'm professional golfer Blair O'Neill, and you're watching Breaking Par. You are watching. You're watching. You're watching Breaking Par. Breaking Par. Breaking Par. You're watching Breaking Par. Breaking Par. Breaking Par. Breaking Par. I'm Bernhard Langer, and you're watching Breaking Par. No two words can send shivers down the spine of a golfer more than island green. Greens surrounded by water have long been a polarizing aspect of golf design. Critics of Island Greens argue that they're a one-dimensional, unforgiving gimmick, while proponents of these pressure cookers say that they play host to some of the best drama in the game. Well, there's no more dramatic or famous Island Green in the world than number 17 at TPC Sawgrass, and this month marks the 36 Players' Championship to be played there. Because all of our social media feeds are about to be flooded with Sawgrass 17 highlights, this month Breaking Par has decided to go dancing on an Arizona Island Green. Go in. Oh yes! <laughs> Welcome to Post and Butte Golf Club. If you can't get out to Sawgrass anytime soon, we recommend taking a short drive southeast of Phoenix and tackling Poston Butte Golf Club. Like Sawgrass, Poston's Island Green is the 17th hole on the golf course waiting to make or break your scorecard. This truly is one of Arizona's signature golf holes. So number 17 is a pretty exciting hole. A lot of matches are won or lost right here on this hole, so it makes for an exciting round. It ranges from 75 yards on the forward tee all the way back to about 175 on our gold tees. The average tournament yardage on Sawgrass is 17 is 137 yards, so today Steve's got us playing Poston's Island Green at the same number. We've got it set up 137 yards today. Idea is to play a little bit long of the hole, put some backspin on it, see if we can draw it back in, get it close. My advice for playing the hole is to take the whole location out of it. You really want to shoot for the middle of the green. Once you get up on the green, there are multiple tiers up there and obviously that bunker right in front that's a little intimidating. Generally, the wind is going to be coming out of the right side. It favors a nice little draw around that bunker to the center of the green. The green slopes from back to front, so if you can add a little bit more spin, give yourself a chance to get a little close and knock that putt in for two. For the player that does find the water, you've got a couple of options. You've got to either re-tee from the original tee box or go up to our drop zone, which is located about 75 yards out, and you still got to carry the water. At Sawgrass, the average golfer rinses two golf balls in the lake when they play 17. It's pretty safe to say the same is true here at Poston. We get a diver out here every couple of months. Generally, he'll go down in the water, spend a couple hours. He comes up with three or 4,000 golf balls. I'm gonna guess we've got close to 10,000 in there right now. Quick side note, most of our cameras weren't even rolling yet when I hit my first shot and this happened. Go in. Oh, yes. oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the pin though. Literally less than an inch from the posting guys never forgetting my name. The name Poston Butte comes from Charles Poston. He's considered by many to be the father of Arizona. He was a critical role in actually convincing Abraham Lincoln to make Arizona a territory back in 1863. He discovered an old Indian ruin on top of a hill here locally, and it's actually now called Poston Butte. That's his final resting place. Post and Butte is an 18-hole championship golf course designed by Gary Panks and managed by Troon Golf. Fantastic facility here. We've got great green complexes that really make the course unique, fun, and exciting to play for most players. For the most part, our fairways are pretty player friendly, but when it comes to those irons, you've got to be pretty precise. We've got multi-tiered greens that generally are rolling pretty fast. In order to score well out here, you've got to bring your flat stick. You've got to be on your game with the putter. Well, since I already almost hit a hole-in-one with my pitching wedge, Steve and I decided to mix it up a little. 137 yards, let's see what we can do with five iron. Ooh, a five iron, okay. Safe. Oh God, that's in the drink. All right, any wood of your choice, from hybrid to driver, you pick. I've got to hit the big stick then. I'm going driver. Check. Gotta go. Look at that bounce, huh? Are you kidding me? Two for two. He put the driver on. <laughs> okay. 
We went with the uh, longest club in the bag. How about going with the shortest now? Driver to putter. <laughs> I think it's gonna be all this club. Oh, look at this. Look at this shot here. You're right. Oh, yes. 137 with the putter. The putter. Great shot. That is one heck of a golf hole you guys have right there. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Don't be too intimidated on the number 17 here at Post and Butte. We made it look easy with some wedges, and we even made it look easy with a putter. Guys, if you dig watching the pros play number 17 at Sawgrass, then you gotta get out and play Post and Butte. Tell them Charles Poston sent you. Play one of the best golf courses in Arizona. Post and Butte Golf Club, voted as one of the top courses in the state by Golf Advisor, Post and Butte is the perfect combination of beauty and challenge while offering superior playing surfaces year round. Test your game on Arizona's favorite island green. Then grab a post round bite and beverage at Post and Butte's award winning Anthem Grill. Book your tea time now at postandbuttegc.com or call directly for the best available rate with no booking fees. Postandbuttegc.com. Good morning, Frank. Let's go make more dreams come true. For you are the duo man. And golfers around the world count on you to help them hit the ball farther and straighter. Golf bless you, Frank, for your relentless pursuit of low compression technology. That's a 29, another 29. For decades of drop tests and data gathering. Let's record some data, huh, Frank? For the ball that's still first and soft. Go again. Let's do this. Wilson Staff Duo, the ball that started it all. Your Arizona Golf Association has been serving Arizona for almost a century. Founded in 1923, it serves as the official governing body of amateur golf in Arizona. The AGA hosts over 50 golf tournaments featuring USGA qualifiers, state and city championships, and the popular AGA Golf Days. For their over 50,000 members, the AGA provides great benefits such as access, special discounts, and an official USGA handicap. Get your membership today by going to azgolf.org and get into the game with your Arizona Golf Association. Hi guys, I'm Andrea Fogel and welcome back to a new series here at Breaking Par called the 19th Hole. You know the drill, we show you some of our favorite post round hangout spots from traditional 19th holes on the course to convenient spots off the course. Today we're at zip code 85254 at the Weston Keerling Golf Club checking out the Brittlebush Bar and Grill. This lodge-like setting makes for a 19th hole that is highly sought after to unwind after a round of golf. Brittlebush's full bar includes a wide variety of draft, domestic, and microbrewed beers from local breweries around the valley. With the expansive rock fireplace creating a relaxed atmosphere while overlooking the manicured golf course, it's easy to kick your feet up and stay a while. This destination is ideal for a casual lunch or happy hour, including outdoor seating just steps away from the greens. Kierlin Golf Club's been named 2017 Arizona Golf Course of the Year by the National Golf Course Owners Association of Arizona. But it's not all about the golf today. We're here for the food and drinks. Brita Bush Bar and Grill presents a modern gastral style pub flair with Southwest influences. The menu offers light appetizers to salads with more substantial entrees like the featured crispy Mahi Mai tacos. We are here in the kitchen with the one and only Chef Tommy. Today we're making the popular crispy Mahi Mahi fish tacos. Tommy, show us how it's done. All right, first, well, we have our Mahi dredged in our flour solution. We're gonna beer batter that in the Piper's Pale ale beer batter. Now while those are swimming, we'll get our tortillas going. These are made fresh every morning from a local company, Fresh Avocado. Try to get some in every bite. We have our Napa cabbage slaw with house-made remoulade, Cipollini onions, and the Julian red onions. We have our beer battered mahi. Top it with our sweet chili orange glaze. Garnish with the Brunoise Roma tomatoes. Add some color to the top. Micro cilantro. And we're gonna finish off with a couple pea tendrils. So you have three here. What's the significance behind three tacos? Just like the par three in golf. And I think most of your menu kind of ties in with golf lingo, is that correct? Absolutely. Well, how about you make some additional tacos for the crew, and I'm gonna head to the bar. It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. All right, Matt, I've heard the St. Andrew's cocktail is a must try when you're here at the Brittle Bush Bar and Grill. Go ahead and take us through the cocktail making process. Sure, so this drink is great. We've got a lot of awesome drinks on our menu featuring great fresh ingredients, margaritas, all that great stuff. I think this is the drink for winners. It features a local spirit, the Delbach Whiskey from Tucson, and it's basically a twist on an old fashioned. So we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of bitters to it. I've got an awesome barrel aged maple syrup that's gonna go into this. A Little bit of Galliano. 
The base of this drink is going to be uh, equal parts bullet rye and the featured whiskey. The Delbach single malt smoked whiskey. It's going to be a stirred cocktail. There you go, Andrea. There's the St. Andrews. Thank you. Cheers, Matt. Cheers. The maple syrup flavor, that's what I was excited about. I thought it would be a little bit thicker with the consistency, but it's just right. Thank you again for this amazing cocktail. I'm headed to the patio. I think the fish tacos are done. Outstanding. Enjoy. Thank you. Here's a fun thing. If you're at the Brittle Bush on a Friday night, make sure to ask them about their lime pudding. I heard you get a free margarita if you make it in on your first try. What? Enjoy. Thank you. I think it's time to dig into the crispy mahi-mahi fish tacos. I'll start right here. The St. Andrew's cocktail pairs perfectly with these fish tacos. It's a great way to wash them down. As much as I don't want to leave the Brittle Bush Bar and Grill, it's time to check out a second 19th hole here at the Westin Kierland. <laughs> at Dreamweaver's Canyon, the Weston Kierland signature outdoor location. I have unbelievable golf views behind me, and today we're testing out a few of their food and drink options. So we're here in Dreamweaver's Canyon. It's a great space for enjoying dining, friends, cocktails. We've got a 300 square foot TV up on the wall called Skywatch. Watch any of your favorite shows overlooking the golf course. Every night at dusk, we've got our bagpiper play 365 days a year. Another thing worth mentioning here at the Weston Kierland is their Scotch Library. With over 300 whiskey bottles, about $250,000 in inventory, and most importantly, their big three. This cabinet alone, these three bottles, over $100,000 in inventory. Oh my gosh. We're back again here with Matt, our beverage specialist here at the Dreamweavers. So what do you have for us today? Today I've got one of our drinks from Walter Weiser Saloon. This is our Cucumber Dura. We start with a little fresh mint. We go right into some fresh cucumber. Top that off with an ounce and change of our Herradura Double Bear Reposado. Then we'll fill that up with some ice. We'll top it off with some ginger beer. Ooh, my favorite. But we'll garnish that with a lime. Something you can make at home except for our signature tequila. Enjoy. Perfect, thank you. My pleasure. The Cucumber Dura. It's the perfect outdoorsy drink. Absolutely. We've got great dishes coming out of the Waltz and Weiser kitchen. Some sample fare is our Rayano flatbread, our jalapeno fritters with a bacon lime aioli, and we've got a barrel-aged barbecue sauce pulled pork sandwich. What makes this the ultimate 19th hole is that you can sit back, relax, and watch your favorite sporting event on the Skywatch TV, all while sipping your favorite drink and enjoying Southwestern-inspired dishes. Guys, if you're playing golf here at the Westin Kierland or anywhere close by, this is a solid go-to hangout spot after your round of golf. These 19th holes have everything you could want. Great scenery, delicious cuisine, and adult beverages that you can't find anywhere else. I'm Andrea Fogel, and this is the 19th hole with Breaking Par. It's the longest shadow ever created in automotive history. Yet somehow, we always manage to leave it behind. The new Porsche 911. Ever faster. Ever smarter. Ever ahead. Escape to Torreon Golf Club. Whether seeking cooler temperatures or a respite from daily life, Torreon is the perfect spot to relax and unwind. Set among ponderosa pines and meandering streams at an elevation of 6,200 feet, Torreon's 36 holes of award-winning golf will take your breath away, while family-friendly amenities will keep the entire family engaged. Just a short drive from Phoenix, Tucson, and Albuquerque, the perfect getaway is closer than you think. Visit Torreon.com to learn more. Want to play Arizona's best courses at the best available rates and avoid those annoying booking fees? TroonGolfAZ.com is all you need for Arizona's best courses at the best available rates all over the state. TroonGolfAZ.com features Arizona's most iconic courses, including True North, Boulders Resort, Whirlwind, Ok Chin, Southern Dunes, and more. Come on! Life's too short to play subpar golf. Visit TroonGolfAZ.com to book your next tee time today. At Wilson Staff, we go the extra yard, and so does our all-new Duo Soft, the longest duo yet. Extra distance makes the difference. In the drink or in the cup, sink there or land here. 
Fishies for birdies. Duo Soft makes the birdies. Now we're going to look back at another one of our favorite island greens. This next segment is definitely a classic because this island green is gone. It was recently demolished as part of the redesign taking place out of the Phoenician golf course. Look out for the Phoenician course to reopen fall 2018. In the meantime, enjoy a Breaking Park classic from season one. Here at Breaking Park, it's starting to become expected that we're going to feature the most famous holes in golf. And while that's a safe assumption, it's not always true. Sometimes the coolest features are from the fairways less driven. Today we're at the Phoenician Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona, taking a look at hole number nine on the Oasis course, a par four that in 2010 was redesigned to give a very unique finish to this nine holes. Arizona's only Sand Island Green. We're at the base of Camelback Mountain here, and this tee shop presents you a multitude of options. You can be conservative and go down the left side, or you can go for it to a narrow green that rises up from a sea of sand. Now, if you go for it, yes, you might get rewarded with an eagle putt, or if you kind of miss your target, you're gonna have a tricky bunker shot up to one of the most undulating greens on this Oasis 9. We're out here today with Tim Mahoney, Global Director of Instruction for Troon. Tim's one of the most decorated teachers in America. Today, Tim and I are gonna tackle this hole in a couple different ways. I'm gonna play conservative, and he's gonna let the big dog eat. Now, Tim, I heard a little birdie chirp that you haven't played this hole yet. I have not. So, what's our yardage gonna play from here? It's gonna play about 280 from here. All right, light us up. Oh, that's pretty. It that might, might be a one. Hole. Wait, wait. Get, get up there. Get up in there. Good line. A little short of the green. Front side of the bunker. Beautiful. All right, here comes Mahoney's number two. Come on, let's watch this one right here. Just have my breakfast and my Wheaties. Watch this one. Oh! That's going right for the green. Tell me that's beautiful. He's on. Give me some. Uh -huh. How about that one, huh? Give uh -huh. me some. Great setup for an eagle shot. He balls up and went for it. Two beautiful shots. And I was very happy with both those shots. I'm going to poke a couple out the conservative route down okay. the left side here. Yellow ball. You know why I like to hit yellow golf balls? Why is that? First of all, it's ASU gold as far as I'm concerned. Second of all, because I love everybody in my foursome knowing exactly where I am. You know, I'm intimidated by that yellow golf ball you put out there. I really am. Nicely done. Ooh, is it too much? No, nah, I think, that's, look here, that's perfect. Left side of the fairway, flat wide to right side pin. That's very good. Okay. Now, what you want to do, a shot like that, just kind of wave to the crowd, right? Wave to the crowd. Now, you don't want to smile, show some teeth, because they'll think you've never done this before. So it's just kind of a, like a. Well, you want to try another one? Uh, gosh, do I, mean, do I even need huh? to hit another one? <laughs> Nicely done. Look at there. That's a perfect way of playing that. Hold your fans. That ball's nice up in the air. Curve a little bit to the right. Hey, hey, look like you've done this before. Thank Very you. nicely Thank done. You. Now it's a matter of just closing the deal. Let's go do that, shall we? Let's go do it. Turns on dime. But look at that. Uh, you can do tricks, it looks like. It's got a remote. Looks like about 75, 80 yards from the flag, and you got a good lie. Yeah. All right, let me see if I can pop one up there. Okay. Short, isn't it? Get up, get up there, get up there. All right, very nicely done. Is it nice on? Shot. You're on the green. Good shot. You're about 20, 25 feet just short of the hole. Great shot, Johnson. It could have been better, but I appreciate that. Tim, I hit that freaking short. Yeah. Look where my ball landed. That ball flew 250 yards right in the spot there. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Nice putt. Thank you very much. Tap in birdies are good in this game. All right? Good putt. So I name it right about here. OK. Oh, I missed it. Easy. Good putt. Good leap. 
In my book, that's good. Anything inside the leather is a good putt by me. Oh, man, you haven't played with me before then. Very good. Well, Tim, if we had to give them a short recap, I think that all kind of worked out the way it should. You went for it with driver, stuck it on, beautiful two putt, got your bird, almost sank that eagle. I took your advice, kind of hit to a number. Didn't hit the best shot in here, left a lot of meat on the bone, but got my two putt, got my par, and got out of here. This is the only green in the state of Arizona completely surrounded by sand, and we kind of conquered it. All golfers can play this hole and enjoy it. I made my three, you made your four, so again, we accomplished our goals that we started off on the, on the tee box. Hey, thank you so much, and I can already tell, he's the type of coach I think I could work well with. I'm gonna come see you. Please do. Making television. Good job. Play one of the best golf courses in Arizona. Host in Butte Golf Club, voted as one of the top courses in the state by Golf Advisor, Host in Butte is the perfect combination of beauty and challenge while offering superior playing surfaces year round. Test your game on Arizona's favorite island green. Then grab a post round bite and beverage at Post in Butte's award winning Anthem Grill. Book your tea time now at postinbuttegc.com or call directly for the best available rate with no booking fees. Postinbuttegc.com. Hi, I'm professional golfer Blair O'Neill, and you're watching Breaking Par. Have you seen the new hit golf show, Breaking Par? Want to know where you can see all the episodes? Yeah. Go to breakingpar.net to see all the episodes. Oh, yeah. While you're there, join the Breaking Par team and be the first to see new content when it drops. Oh. Might have started a new addiction. Breakingpar.net, where we look at the game through a different lens. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Let's check out some content from our fans. It's the Social Media Spotlight.
The Breaking Park crew loves hearing from our fans, and we want to put you on our show. Do you have an amazing golf shot caught on camera? Do you have a ridiculous trick shot that you want the world to see? Or maybe you just filmed a hilarious moment in golf. Oh, you broke it. Send video submissions to fans at breakingpar.net for a chance to be featured on our next show. Or hit us up on Instagram at breakingpartv. You already know the most important part of your game is the equipment. Your equipment should be tailor fit to you and only you. So why wouldn't you get fit by the best in the industry? Cool Clubs is the future of golf. They have an advanced shaft database that complements their proprietary fitting software and gives fitters the tools and data needed to provide unparalleled service and performance. Whether you're a tour pro or an amateur player, revive your passion and insert yourself into the future of golf. Only at Cool Clubs. 54 holes of pure golf heaven. Whether you're a scratch golfer or a casual player, the Wigwam is the place in the valley to play. Take on the challenge of Robert Trent Jones Senior Design Gold Course. Sharpen your iron play on the fun to play blue course or enjoy the wide fairways and generously sized greens of the Wigwam's red course. Each course is meticulously maintained and offers three unique golf experiences. Enjoy the Wigwam, an Arizona treasure since 1929. Book a tee time now at wigwamgolf.com.